All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Kafadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers. Peace and blessings, salutations, and hopeful luck out there pushing his word and truth. And this is sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Pushing to get up out of here. Shout out one to the hopeful leg double believers and listeners who have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. All right, so what I want to get into is going into a lesson, you know, which was inspired, you know, by the uh, precept of the day, you know, that was put on the group chat, you know, by the brother Lamad. And um, it's going into uh, St. John 14 and 21. All right, because we have entered into a time, all right, when Yahweh Shai, you know, is revealing himself to his men. And as Yahweh Shai reveals himself to his men, all right, his men are revealing himself to the rest, you know, of the believers. You know, as Yahweh Shai, you know, in St. John 17, you know, he mentioned how he prayed not only for the disciples, but for those that would, all right, believe, you know, through their word. Okay, so Yahweh Shai, you know, which is the spirit of prophecy, you know, which, which is the wisdom of this book, the volume of the book, you know, has begun to reveal himself, you know, in these latter times, man, you know, and this is the time, all right, to, all right, hey, take advantage of this, man, and really get engulfed, you know, into this great revealing, you know, until he physically revealed himself to the earth. You know, but he's in the spirit revealing himself to his men. All right. And it starts with faith and obedience, man. Okay. This is St. John 14 and 21. It says, he that have my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. Okay. Now, when you go into the commandments, now it's understood we can't keep, you know, all 613 commandments. Okay. In this captivity. In this flesh, all right, it's a double captivity. We in this flesh is prone to go off, all right, and we in this captivity. Now, we don't use that, you know, to do what we want, all right, and just, you know, do away with the law. We keep it to the best of our ability, okay? But Yahweh Shah was pushing the mindset, all right, and within that mindset, hey, we, we become blameless in the law, okay, through his sacrifice. Because you go to Matthew 22 and um, Matthew 22 and 34. I started 34. It says, but when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Yahweh Shah said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. All right, so here it is, these experts, you know, in the law, and they're coming, you know, to trip him up about the law. All right, and this is his response. This is Yahweh Shah's response, man. You know, first he said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And if we love the Yahweh Bashem al with all our heart, with all our mind, all right, by default, we're not going to participate in pagan holidays. Okay? We're not going to call on these false names. We're not going to call on uh, Jesus Christ. If we truly love Yahweh Bashem al there's no way we could call on Jesus Christ knowing what we know now. Okay? If we love Yahweh Bashem al Okay, there's things that we will refrain from in this world. Okay, we 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 will show all right a appreciation, you know, for the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, and we truly love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, we want uh, uh, uh matter of fact when you um go into it because the wicked scribes and Pharisees they was pretty much sellouts to the Roman Empire. But they was pushing the law. But wait, if you love your Yahweh by Shema was shy, okay, why would you sell out to the Romans? You know, 
as we've been going over um uh, in the book of Daniel, and Daniel had a way higher position than these niggas had in the Roman Empire. Daniel had a way higher position. Even uh, uh, Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael, they had a way higher position than these niggas, and they kept their integrity, man. Okay? So, going into to, to, to keeping uh, uh, Shai summing up the law, okay, with these instructions, man. Okay, verse 39, it says, And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbors as thyself. Okay, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets, man. Read this in the NLT. Um, verse 40, Matthew 22 and 40, the entire law and all the demands of the prophets are based on these two commandments. Okay, because you go into the prophecies, we went into captivity based off what, man? Uh, idolatry, man. That was the that was the sin, you know. The Lord didn't put us in captivity for not wearing mixed fabric, okay. <laughs> uh, 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 you see, He didn't put us in captivity, you know, for for minute things, man. It was major offenses, and and it was the main thing was idolatry, man. So if we love you, how about Shema Shah with all our heart? There's no way we could commit idolatry, man. Okay, so uh, uh, the entire law and the prophet was based on these two. Uh, going to love thy neighbor as thyself. Okay, and just based on that alone, man, if you love your neighbor as yourself, there is no way you will commit adultery, man. Okay, if you love your neighbor as yourself, man. Okay, you will steal, you will murder, you will uh, uh, bear false witness on him, man. Like a lot of these camps, they boast in the law. They do this, man. Okay? They do these things, man, uh, with a bare false witness for sure. You know? Then you have these little adultery scoundrels that pop up, you know, with the leadership of IUIC laughed at that, man. And this is why Yahweh Shai is not revealing himself, okay, amongst a lot of these guys with, with these fringes on, man. With all these gimmicks. Yeah, how was shot is not in the midst of their madness, man. Okay, this is why they move with no fear. Okay, they don't care nothing about the doctrine. That's another thing. If you love your, your neighbor as yourself, you will give him true doctrine, man. You won't tell him anything. Here it is. The MOTB is a life and death, okay, understanding when it comes to the doctrine. Okay, because you will lie to your congregation, man. That's, that's not loving your neighbor as yourself, man. You know? Because you done took the bag. All right? And that's why Yahweh Shai is not revealing himself. He's not showing himself, man. You know? Amongst the madness you know, that we see going on. All right? So let's go back to um, St. John 14. All right? St. John 14 and um, 21. And it says, he that have my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of the Father, and I will love him, and he <clears throat> will manifest myself to him. All right, because the Heavenly Father judges everything based on how we react to your house shy. You know, there's a lot of disrespect amongst, you know, uh, Israelites when it comes to Yahweh Shah. You got the Old Testament niggas. Alright. You got men telling you not to worship Yahweh Shah. Men that won't call Yahweh Shah by his name. Alright. The Lord alright judges based on how we how we um submit and react to Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? And us being in this obedience, man, teaching this sound doctrine, man, the truth and sincerity, man. No gal, no gimmicks, no not trying to exhort, you know, extort anyone. Okay? Not for filthy lucre, not for vain glory. Okay? The men that are doing this thing according to the spirit of Yahweh Shah, that's following in, you know, the um, the example of Yahweh Shah, the Heavenly Father, hey, he smiles on that, man. You know? Lord willing, you know, we enduring this thing. Okay, so um, reading this in the NLT, 
St. John 14 and 21, those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. And because they love me, my father will love them and I will and I will love them and reveal myself to each of them. And also each and every brother that's moving, okay, in their way, in obedience, you know, in humility, in all sincerity, man, for the sake of edification. Yahweh Shah begins to reveal himself, man. You know, reveal his character, man, so we can imitate, you know, reveal, you know, certain revelation, revelation while we read or listen to videos or research. He, you know, he give us, you know, nuggets of understanding. That's Yahweh Shah constantly revealing himself, man. You know, and there's nothing greater than that, man. There's, there's nothing greater than that as an Israelite man than to have Yahweh Shah constantly reveal himself, man, you know, as we grow and mature in his ministry, man, okay, but to the other side, man, Yahweh Shai, not dealing with that madness, man, this is on um, Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 4, it says, all right, this is on um, Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 1, it says, love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth, think of the Lord with a good heart, and in simplicity of heart, seek him, for he will be found of them that tempt him not. Okay? So, here it is. We're being grown to be judges of the earth. And the scripture tell us to love the Lord. Or I think on the Lord with simplicity of heart. Okay? You know, Jake, make love to make things overcomplicated. You know, I say love to add all these gimmicks, man. And crazy ass confusion and breakdown. Like, nah, man. You know, stick to the simplicity of Yahweh Shai. We'll see the simplicity of, of Yahweh Shai doesn't draw the big crowds. Okay, doesn't draw the big income. Okay, it says, For he will be found of them that tempt him not. In teaching false doctrine, you're, te you're tempting the Most High. Calling on Jesus Christ, you're tempting the Most High. Okay, selling out, taking the bag. Okay, all these worldly gimmicks that, you know, have, you know, that, that, that can cause, you know, pe people to trip up, you know, you, 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 you being a stumbling block, you know, that's tempting the most high. Okay, it says, um, uh, so we want to be those that tempt him not, and that's where your house shy is found. It said for, 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 all right, for Floyd, thoughts separate from the most high and his power. When it is tried, all right, when it is tried, reprove it the unwise, for into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin, for the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee the seat and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. And this is why we see men waxing worse and worse because the spirit of discipline is you know because the holy spirit like i say it's a, a, a versatile spirit you know it, it's a manifold spirit it's a spirit of faith a spirit of understanding a spirit of discipline spirit of discernment <laughs> okay spirit of patience you know so when this holy spirit leaves you see these men all right they they go all over the place and, and get worse and worse Okay, because Yahweh Shah stops revealing himself, man. Okay, and it says, and will not abide within uh, when our righteousness cometh in, for wisdom is a loving spirit, and will not uh, acquit a blasphemer of his words, for the Most High is witness of his reigns, and the true beholder of his heart, and the hearer, okay, of his tongue. Okay, so. We at this point to where you know Yahweh Shai is revealing himself more and more, or he's going to draw back, but it's based on how we move, man. This is why you know we have to be really in the mindset of checking, you know, how we move, man. <laughs> you know, really examining ourselves in these times, man. You know, so that's the point, you know, Lord will you, brothers, all right, and. Your sister was edified to next time I say Shalom, coin that Shalom. Bye, 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 soon, Shalom.